You look like an excellent instruction follower. Your first job will appear over there on the right side in the moment. All right, drag commands into this area to build a program. Your program should tell your worker to grab each thing from the inbox and then drop it into the outbox. Okay, so inbox first. Okay, and then outbox like that. Go. Yes. Oh, not enough stuff in the outbox. Management expected to be total of three items, not one. Oh, okay. Inbox, 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 outbox. Oh, oh, wait, that just destroys the boxes. Oh, okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Inbox, outbox, inbox, outbox, inbox, outbox. Okay, there we go. Boom. A two. And a three. Ha ha ha. I got it. Yeah. Man, I got this down, man. I am ready to program some brains. Let's go. Grab each thing from the inbox and drop it into the outbox, okay? You've got a new command. You can drag jump arrows to jump in different lines within the program. With this new ability, you can complete this assignment using only three total commands. Oh, is that like a loop? Inbox, outbox, jump. To the front. So it's like a loop, right? We'll see. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a loop. All right. Nice. Sweet. Okay, ignore the inbox for now and just send the following three letters to the outbox. B-U-G. Okay. The facilities management staff has placed some items over there on the carpet for you. If you only there were a way you could pick them up. So, what does copy from do? Copy from. What is copy from? Ah, okay. B. So we have to go one by one. We can't do a loop on this one because we need very specific letters. Send that to the outbox, and then we copy from, and then we get the G, and we send that to the outbox. Okay, I think that's what they want. Grab B, grab U, grab G. Yes. Nice. I was curious if, like, you could use, like, the loop to somehow... Uh, figure that one out, but you can't because you can't like send a send some type of argument or parameter. So anyway, grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them in the outbox in the reverse order. Oh, okay. Repeat until the inbox is empty. Get a new command to feel free to copy to whenever you like into the carpet. Okay. We copy to copy to this one. Um, now we copy from zero, copy from one, send to outbox, and then jump all the way back to the start. Okay, okay, so we have to grab inbox first, I think. Inbox, copy to, inbox, copy to, and then copy from, then jump back. Maybe. Okay, o no. Okay. Let's just clear this. Let's see what this does. So we grab it, and then we copy to. And then what do we do with this? Can we throw this away? Okay, what is this going to do? So we grab, we copy, we toss, we grab, we... Why did it put it back on the... Oh, here. It should be one. So we grab the first one, put it in the second slot, get rid of it. Grab the next one, put that into the first slot. Can we just not do copy from, and then we copy from zero? What does that do? Okay, grab it, put it down, toss, grab, put it down. So we copy, oh, okay, okay, I think I got it. We copy, we outbox, and then we copy, and then we outbox. And then we loop. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna zoom it. 
Speed it up. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. And we did it. Whoo. <laughs> Back to work, everyone. <laughs> For each two things in the inbox, add them together and put them put the results in the inbox outbox. Ugh. So inbox. Copy two. Copy two. Then we add. Do we do no another add? Let's just see what that does. Inbox. Okay. Toss it. Inbox. Oh. Okay, we don't need that. We don't need that. Okay, we don't need this one. We just need to add one to zero because we're already holding on to one. So we add to zero. Okay, zero. We add them together. Then we outbox that. Okay. I think that's what they want, right? Gotta hope this is what they want. It seems like what they want. I don't know. I'm scared. He didn't yell at me. We did it. From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extreme scrutiny. Okay, scrutinize me, Captain. Oh my God. We've got a conditional loop. What? Said all things that are not zero to the outbox. Okay, we've got a new command. It jumps only if the value you're holding is zero. Otherwise, it continues to the next line. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to copy it, right? Okay, so if zero... We go back to the inbox. If not, then we go to the outbox. So it's not a zero. Okay. Oops. Okay. So I, so we jump again because we need to loop it. So it's a loop within a loop. I don't know. So it goes to the inbox. We copy it for a check. We check it. It's a four, so it's not a zero. So we put it in the outbox and then we, we loop again. This is what they want, I think. Everything that's not a zero, right? Yeah! <laughs> oh! Hold on! <gasps> I don't even think we need a copy. Yeah! <laughs> That's right, we did not even need to copy. For each thing in the inbox, triple it and output the uh, results. Okay. okay, so we have to copy it if we want to add to it. So copy to position zero. And we should add it three times. Is it, is it really as easy as just add three times? We're going to try it, though. We're going to see what that does. We're going to see if that's what they want. So we're going to multiply it. Okay. I'm hoping that's what they want. It's That feels inefficient, though. That seems like... So this has to be the way to do it, right? The most efficient way? Okay, we did it. Oh, that was optimal. Okay. Okay, so we basically do the inverse of what we already did, so... Inbox. What if we start with the odd box? Jump to the odd box with the inbox if we have it. Else, is he gonna yell at us? Okay, okay. So, no matter what we do, the odd box is the final step. So, I guess we have to do a copy then. Oh, we can jump downwards. Okay. Or do we jump to the jump? Do we jump to the jump? I think we jump to the jump. Right? So, we grab it. We check for the zero. If it's a zero, then we jump. We, we skip the jump. If not, then we just go to the next line, which is jump, so we loop backwards. This is definitely going to work, but I don't know if we can do it more optimally than this. Let's see how many steps we can actually do it in. Oh, oh, that's actually the amount of steps we needed. Okay. Alrighty. For each thing in the inbox, multiply it by eight and put the results in the outbox. Out outbox. Okay. How about uh, we... Mm, we got a copy, right? Copy two, zero. Then we add. Now, if we copy two, right? Let's copy two, one. And then we add that. Okay, hold on. I need to see what this does. So we grab it. We copy two, right? We add. Then we copy there. Okay, right there. Okay, so that was one add. God dang it. This is bringing math into the equation. This is my weakness. Okay, so we need to multiply by eight. So we do that, right? And then we copy it again. And then we add that again. We copy to two. Then we add to two. So six. And you know, multiply it by eight. So we should should be 48. 12. 24. 48. And we got it. I think that's it. 
I think at least. We're gonna see. All right. Come on. This And this has to be the optimal way to do it, right? There, I don't think there's any other way we could do that. Nice. We got it. Oh, oh my God. A perfect across the boards. I'm a human programming machine over here, man. 